CPU bottleneck slowing down your gaming and cutting your FPS. In this video, I'll show you simple but powerful tweaks to fix CPU bottlenecks, unlock your processor's true potential, and boost your FPS for smoother gameplay. Let's dive right in. Frustrated with lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. First, open the start menu, type msconfig, and launch the system configuration tool. Fixing a CPU bottleneck often starts with reducing unnecessary load on your processor, so here we focus on optimizing Windows startup. This will limit background programs and services that eat up precious CPU resources, freeing up power for your games and other demanding tasks. In the System Configuration window, switch to the Boot tab, then click on Advanced Options. Here, you can enable the setting to unlock the number of processors and set it to the highest available value. This option forces Windows to use all CPU cores during boot, but keep in mind it doesn't directly improve your CPU's in-game performance. Instead, it's more of a troubleshooting or testing feature for advanced users. Enabling it won't boost your FPS, but it won't cause harm either, so simply click OK to save. Next, to truly reduce CPU bottlenecking, go to the Services tab. First, check the box labeled Hide All Microsoft Services to avoid accidentally disabling essential system functions that keep Windows stable. Now, carefully review the remaining non-Microsoft services. Disable any unnecessary ones that are not critical to your daily workflow or gaming needs. For example, background software for printers, update managers, or cloud syncing apps can often be safely turned off. Disabling these frees up CPU cycles that would otherwise be wasted on low priority tasks. After making your selections, click apply to save your changes. Then switch to the startup tab and click open task manager. This will show you all programs that automatically launch when Windows boots. High CPU usage at startup is a common bottleneck cause, so right-click on any non-essential startup items and choose Disable. This prevents them from running in the background and consuming CPU power unnecessarily. Programs like chat apps, launchers, or auto-update tools are often safe to disable here. Once you've cleaned up your startup list, close Task Manager, then click OK in the System Configuration window. Alright guys, the next step is to grab the CPU Bottlenecking Fix Pack. You'll find the download link on my website, just check the description for details. Just head over to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost tab. You'll instantly recognize the same title and thumbnail as this video, making it easy to find. Just click on it, and you can download the entire pack with a single click. First, install the Quick Boost application. This powerful tool unlocks hidden Windows settings designed to maximize your CPU's performance and reduce bottlenecks. When you open Quick Boost, you'll notice several tabs General, Advanced, Cleanup, Storage, and Windows. Begin with the General tab, which contains essential tweaks you should apply, especially after Windows updates. Here, enable exclusive full screen mode to enhance gaming performance by preventing Windows from interfering with your games. It's also important to disable the Xbox Game Bar as it runs in the background and consumes CPU resources unnecessarily. Turn off Startup Telemetry to stop Windows from collecting unnecessary diagnostic data. Another crucial setting is disabling mouse acceleration, which ensures your cursor moves smoothly and accurately. An essential adjustment for competitive gaming. Additionally, switch off power saving mode to allow your CPU to operate at full capacity without artificial throttling. You can also disable redundant background services to further free up CPU power. Lastly, Quick Boost makes it easy to remove pre-installed bloatware and unwanted games, which not only saves storage, but also improves system responsiveness. Next, move to the Advanced tab for deeper system optimization. One key setting here is disabling power throttling, which removes hidden power saving limits that can slow down your CPU during intensive tasks. This ensures your processor can deliver consistent performance without being artificially restricted. Memory tweaks in this section help your RAM run at peak efficiency, enhancing both gaming and everyday app performance. Another important feature is adjusting the hardware data queue size, which improves mouse and keyboard responsiveness, a game changer for players who rely on precise and quick input. Then switch to the Storage tab to clean up your system and boost overall efficiency. 
This section allows you to delete temporary files, clear system logs, run Windows disk cleanup, and remove accumulated junk files that weigh down your PC. Regularly performing these cleanups helps free disk space and speeds up your system, indirectly easing CPU load. After that, go to the Windows tab for additional tweaks that enhance performance and reduce distractions. Enable hidden folders here for easier access to temporary files when troubleshooting or cleaning up. You can also disable notifications to prevent interruptions during gaming or work. Turning off clipboard history stops excess data from being stored in memory, freeing up resources. Lastly, disabling Windows transparency effects may slightly reduce visual appeal, but significantly improve performance on lower-end systems by decreasing both GPU and CPU workload. Once you've applied all these optimizations, restart your PC to finalize the changes. After rebooting, you should notice a marked improvement in CPU performance, reduced bottlenecks, and a smoother, more responsive system overall. After finishing with Quick Boost, open the CPU bottleneck fix folder. Inside, you'll find several files that need to be installed one by one. These specific optimizations are designed to reduce CPU bottlenecks and improve overall performance. These tweaks help your processor run more efficiently under heavy loads and gaming scenarios. Next, open the CPU priority folder. Inside, there are two subfolders, one labeled Intel and the other AMD. Select the folder that corresponds to your processor brand. If you have an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and install the file contained within. Likewise, if your system uses an AMD processor, open the AMD folder and install its respective file. These priority adjustments help Windows allocate CPU resources more effectively, reducing bottlenecks and ensuring smoother performance during demanding tasks. Finally, install Park Control and launch the program. Once it opens, select the Bitsum Highest Performance Profile to unlock your CPU's full potential. Make sure both Parking AC and Parking DC settings are set to 100% and disabled. This prevents your CPU cores from being parked, keeping all cores active for better performance. Next, enable the Dynamic Boost feature, which ensures that all CPU threads stay active during gaming sessions, delivering maximum processing power when you need it most. Optionally, you can also enable Show Power Plan Change notifications if you want to be notified whenever your power plan changes. After that, go to your system's power options and select the Bitsum Highest Performance Power Plan to complement the park control settings. Click Make Active and then hit Apply to confirm these changes. Inside the app, check the green bars. If they're fully lit, it means your CPU cores are all active and running at peak performance. It's normal for some bars to dim when you're not gaming or under heavy load, as the CPU dynamically adjusts power usage. Finally, click OK to save all your settings. Park Control will now launch automatically every time your PC starts, keeping your CPU optimized continuously. If it doesn't start on its own for any reason, you can always open the app manually whenever you want to ensure your system is running at its best. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now, open the search bar on your taskbar, type Privacy and Security, and select it from the results. This step helps minimize background processes and reduce system resource usage by disabling unnecessary permissions and features, ultimately boosting CPU performance. 
Once inside, navigate to the Windows Permissions section and carefully review each setting. Start by going to the General tab and turn off all the permissions listed there, as these often allow apps to track your activity or display personalized ads, which can waste CPU cycles. Then move on to other sections like Speech, Typing and Personalization, and Diagnostic and Feedback. Disable any features you don't use, such as speech recognition or diagnostic data collection, to prevent needless background activity that can cause CPU load. Next, scroll down to the App Permissions section, where you'll see various categories such as location, camera, microphone, voice activation, contacts, and calendar. Review each category carefully and disable permissions for apps you rarely or never use. For example, if you don't need location services, turn them off entirely. Similarly, disable permissions for apps like email, tasks, messaging, or radios if you don't actively use them. These simple steps prevent unnecessary system resource consumption, reducing CPU workload and improving overall system efficiency. To further enhance CPU performance, disable unnecessary visual effects that consume system resources. Open the search bar again, type Advanced System Settings and select the matching option to open the System Properties window. Switch to the Advanced tab and under the Performance section, click the Settings button to access performance options. Select Adjust for Best Performance to disable most non-essential visual effects, allowing your system to use resources more efficiently and improving responsiveness. After applying this setting, you may want to manually re-enable a few key visual effects that maintain a smooth and clear user experience. For example, keep Animate Windows when minimizing and maximizing for fluid transitions, show thumbnails instead of icons for easier file previews, and smooth edges of screen fonts to ensure text readability. Apply your customized settings by clicking OK. Finally, optimize your system's virtual memory to help Windows manage memory more effectively, reducing CPU strain. Return to the Advanced tab in System Properties and locate the Virtual Memory section, then click Change. Uncheck the box labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives to configure the paging file manually. Select your system drive, usually local disk C, then set the initial size to 1361 MBOB, which is a good baseline for performance. For the maximum size, calculate a custom value based on your RAM. Open Calculator and multiply your RAM amount in GB by 1024 to convert it to megabytes. For instance, with 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 by 1024, it was 16,384 MB. Then divide that by 2 to get 892 MB. Enter this as your maximum size value. After entering these numbers, click Set, then OK to apply the changes. That's it for fixing CPU bottlenecks and unlocking your processor's full power. If these tweaks helped boost your gaming performance, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.